Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here on this Sunday morning with this mountain weather update. I want to show you this glorious view. I actually just posted this on my Facebook. It's so nice um, on this Sunday. I mean, just awesome up there in Loveland ski area. The sun shining through, uh, still some snow showers or clouds and some ice crystals in the air up there. Temps, air temps about 10 degrees up there this morning. Um, but the bottom line is this area on the Continental Divide and east we'll see a significant snow coming between tuesday and wednesday there's a stronger wetter storm system that will develop into an albuquerque low so winter park um loveland a basin all the way down the spine of the continental divide in colorado running all the way down to tahoe so we'll see a pretty good shot of snow and moisture coming pikes peak could see a couple of feet of snow out of this thinking about a foot here at loveland a basin winter park but Pikes Peak could get quite a bit more. All right, let me just show you my bullet points here um, this morning. So here are, the, um, here are the headlines. This is going to be a juicy storm. It'll turn into an Albuquerque low where it spins up and kind of throws moisture back over the top of Colorado. Um, then behind that, there's a north-south storm system that'll come out of Canada, drop down through Montana, Wyoming, and brush Colorado 427 and 428 with another shot of snow and moisture. Then we're going to get a high pressure break into 5-1, and then there's another storm that will load up and come in from the west around 5-2, 5-3, 5-4, somewhere in, in, in that uh, time zone. In fact, let me show you the jet. On 5-2, you can see the low. It's right there, digging through California and the Pacific Northwest. Then that will move in 5-3, 5-4. Um, so that is yet to be seen, but that's down the road into early May. All right, let me... Um, let me go back here. I want to show you the uh, the satellite this morning. So this is water vapor, and I'll mark our storm that's going to turn into this. You can almost see the spin right there that'll turn into that Colorado low. It's going to come down here and set up shop right about there. And as it does, it's going to throw moisture back over the top of Colorado. Behind it, pretty good area of low pressure right here as well to back it up. And all of this is riding this northern branch, which is staying pretty active at this point. So that's going to be the pattern. And I think the key time frame, again, for most of the places in Colorado will be Tuesday and Wednesday. That's the way it looks right now. It will be turning sharply colder. And we'll get some pretty good upslope. That's the thing that, that these, low, these ABQ Albuquerque lows tend to do is provide a lot of upslope to the front range of Colorado. So we'll see that. All right, let me look at the uh, the numbers here this morning. So 423 to 425, and most of this you see in Colorado um, and Wyoming, Utah, comes with that storm system. That's going to be sliding down. So that's going to put to Alta very close to 900. Now in Colorado, a lot of those numbers come on 424, uh, 425, 426 into that time from Tuesday, Wednesday. Let me show you the uh, the final stretch here, the second period. Um, there are some pretty big numbers uh, there in Colorado from Taos North. And again, a lot of that comes with that Tuesday, Wednesday storm system. So if you add it up, let's just, for example, Loveland. First period, four inches. Second period, eight, so about a foot. And that'd be the case in Water Park, Eldora, A Basin, uh, Monarch, we're all going to be in that same sort of ballpark. Now, in the first period, we had four at Alta and another four in the second period. So that should put uh, Alta right at 900. So we're looking pretty good. And um, obviously, there's another storm behind this. Um, you can already see a little bit of snow showing up in California. 5-2, 5-3, 5-4. That storm will be sliding through the Intermountain West. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this Sunday morning update. Hope you have a great day, and thanks for tuning in.